This is really not good. Hold on! Nathan? 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 What are we gonna do with you? You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. Doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. Gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because... Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you. All right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. You'll catch cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. Just like that, we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500cc twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard-earned cash. Here, come on, take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. 
really well, but uh, I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like uh, a year, at the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Wait, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then a couple of years, couple when you're out... years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Yeah. Nothing about our lives has been fair. But we've made it work. Right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Uh -huh. I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? Eh, it's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't going to see it that way. Well, then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Esto va a estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, eh? You're gonna have to do better than that, pal. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. A ver cómo te sales de esta, cara. ¿Qué tal esto? Asshole, let go of me. Gánenmelo. Right back at you. Lucha como un hombre. Toma esto, pendejo. Hey, give me a call when you're tall enough to ride the rides. Te voy a sacar tiras por el culo. Solitaria. Cállalo. Te voy a estar esperando aquí, eh. Abre. Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it? Have fun. I will. Gracias. Having a great dream, too. Hey, hey, hey. All right, easy. Ah. All right, calmate. It's por tu culpa, pendejo. Hey, uh, any chance I can take a shower? Here we 
are. Take these cuffs off, or what? I want in. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> Come on, Vargas. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? I'm sticking my neck out for you, gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? Si. But not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here. And not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. All right, just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. That's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. Uh, the guns way. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, you can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you gonna get up there, anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it, since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. Hey, did 10 and 2. X and II. This is it. All right. Time to head back. You made it. What'd you find? Greg? What? Place was picked clean. If there's a clue hidden up there somewhere, I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Maybe I just I missed something in the letter. There could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. There are uh, any plans to this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go, go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. All right. When you're done talking to him, come and find me. You got it. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Nice acting, Vargas. Almost as good as mine. Mira, te puedo decir, eh? Suerte de principiante, ¿verdad? Hijo de puta. Lo siento, chicos. Tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, eh? Hey, it's us. They worked you off. Good, you all right? Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. We 
Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? We had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. All right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about I'll, this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. All right. Let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, shit. Huh? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Uh, Digna factus recipimus. We receive... We receive... We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. There's a benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah, a penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I have my doubts about you, too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of this shithole. I guess this is the guy you picked a fight with? Uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde yeah. para hablar. Aquí no sales! Hey, you know why? Tú no te metas. Okay. Basta de hablar. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband, Fergus? Cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. Déjanos. Déjenos. you long enough. We almost got killed, you know? We still might. Vargas? Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well? How can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate, fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away.
Thank you. We're willing to give you a ten percent. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, 20, and you'd never find it without us. 25 equals. 25, does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me at <laughs> Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You want to find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Ah, I got it. Sam! Come on! I'll pull you up! I got you! Come on! Sam, no. No, you hold on. Hold on. Sam! Give me your other arm. Come on, reach. No! Sam! We gotta move. No, oh, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No. No, I can't. I can't. I can't leave him behind. Nate! Your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. No, just have it your way. Sam. Oh, God, no. No. Sam. I'm coming, I'm coming. I gotta keep coming, right? Fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys? Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <coughs> Thanks. <sighs> Whoa, this tank. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks.
Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the pigging. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money. <laughs> For the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Well, oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. Really did your homework on this one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? Mm. God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of some, so, it, the boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane, so. I kind of took this U-turn and became this elegy about how Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? Uh, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. Flights in Bangkok that um, are they're having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. 
<laughs> wow. And I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Oh, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, hold You on. did them last night. No, you cooked, I cleaned, it's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh. oh. You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take <laughs> it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, 
Everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Samite. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey, have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? <laughs> me? Yeah, so, what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy-ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh... That actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um... Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right. right? And there's no body. But at the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the... Car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe I, Elena from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Does the name Hector Alcazar ring a bell with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but um, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. You're not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. Guards. They're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can, but I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. 
Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Mm. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmenta aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Next for Samuel Drake. Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? Do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid... Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is. I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. <laughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months have the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Come on. Now, the nearest town. It's ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. So, how 
Bazaar lets me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. The moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. Mm -hmm. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And <clears throat> where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh... Jeez. Anybody? Uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hello? Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but, uh, looks like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. Can you see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? Well, no, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <clears throat> It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? <sighs> Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. 
I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. Hey. Trust. <laughs> Just try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um, like I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? A waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. Me on the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. It's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Well, now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Okay. All right. 
try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Dean Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. Ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That's a good idea. <clears throat> Got it? Heads up, heads up. Buona sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. No, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like, dead? Out? Oh, no. More like retired. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Hmm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days, I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? 
We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving it in a goddamn Rafe. body. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Oh, screw it. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. To You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Bidding has now reached 190,000 euros. Gotcha. My team is now at 200,000 euros in the room. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 210,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the, the gentleman, gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once, going twice, then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it, get out of the way. Stop him. Hey, stop that guy. Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away. You speak Sparisci. Fine. Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security's scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. No, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? 
All right, fine. <clears throat> Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <clears throat> Don't telegraph so much. <clears throat> nice try. I gave you that one. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Did you know all the artifacts here are stolen? They belong in a museum. I'm really losing my patience. <laughs> All right, look. I'm still a little jet-lagged. How about we just call it even? Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart-ass? Okay, come clean. You're no chiropractor. The technique is really not helping my back. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there. All right, I'm at the car. Where the hell are you guys? I just met your friend, Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. Trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush. Lasso, have you seen you? What are you doing? What's it look like? Oh, shit. Nathan! Catch! Wait, what? Oh, crap. <laughs> I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. It's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris. In paradise. Today you will join me in, in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but. It means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and a whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. 
I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. I mean, come on, it's both, right? <laughs> we need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. But with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. <sighs> I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. Things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. But it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth. Right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Uh, not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. <clears throat> what the hell is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. Oh, oh shit! Get out! <clears throat> Pull you up. There you go. Ah, thanks. Yeah, well, swords are a match. So is the year. Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? Uh, Benjamin Bridgman. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, I mean, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. sideways. What is that? Ready for this? No, I've been ready for a long time. It's enough. Some kind of lamp. 
Hey, Smokey. Need your lighter over here. <laughs> you know, that hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. Thank you, Father Duffy. <laughs> Isn't that something? Okay, let's give this a shot. Oh, Ben Sesame. Wrong treasure. Shush. <laughs> well, nice view. No treasure, though. No, but... Look, you see those crosses? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, is that a cave? Right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. Uh, there's one problem, though. Going back that way means we have to go back to... Come here. Check this out. Yeah. A little slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a... give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the... What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I lose my hand? So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. Nice hook. All right, here we go. <laughs> really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. It's the Rhode Island pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is Two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this... how? It's a damn good question. So who... We're not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. Found another switch. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand out. Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test. Trial? Yeah. When this guy clearly failed. Let's do better. Yet. Now let's find out. Nathan, look. I think you got it. <laughs> All right, see? No shishkinates, no make kebabs today. So, if that was a test... Hey, oh, hold on, hold on. What? Listen. Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up about it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? 
They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the gold like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress. I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I'll listen to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here... We'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? Hey. It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Oh, stop making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? About Rafe wanting to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. Everett Tess. Ugh. I'll never get used to this. Another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Well, lack thereof. Okay, so. It's, it's gotta be the coins. Yeah. Are you sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Great. I got it. Please don't be a trap. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with this. What are you talking about? Avery. He's screwing with this. This was supposed to be it. So where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, Kings Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have known you from last time. 
Yeah, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot them yet. <sighs> Not want to hurry, then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh... Where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but... There's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. Well, I'll leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to... ...cross the... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! One, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. Suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves, the recruits, what's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. And there's a volcano near King's Bay, which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. 
Well, as long as you guys are safe. So, are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate... Still taking a long time. Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. That's the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. Fun, right? Yeah, well, I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are all. <laughs> Whoa. Magnificent. Don't see a treasure, though. Coming. Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. 
And that's, uh... Um... It's Adam Baldridge, it's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <coughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. What are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, but still... Two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. This is a very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. some bells. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio.
Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. You all right? Hey. Hey, look. The coin. You want it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? <laughs> Sully. Way ahead of you. <clears throat> Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. But these are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads.
What do we got? Uh, not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks... Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. All right, you gotta find some place to hide. Oh. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. I'll buy you a new one.
Solomon Way could have survived that. Why chance it? Damn it. That's not good. All these things are Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Prodeus Cord Licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten Liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liberty. Liber what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this... Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of King's Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I... I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Nate. jail. But I was obviously very wrong. 
It's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me. For weeks. If you were killed, I... I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags. for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magnum. Sick Parvis Magnum. Yeah. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. I think maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Huh. 
Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. We'll find us a spot to set ashore. This looks promising. Huh. Some kind of symbol. Looks like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Down there, the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing, huh? <laughs> Come on. Boat's right below it. Hmm. There we go. Crap. Mechanism's busted or something. No, 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 no. One way or another, we're getting in there. Let's just lift it together, all right? Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, God, this is heavy. Just think about all that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. Let's see. Okay, where to now? Shit. And you're missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's, uh, that's a long way down. Hey, come on. Oh, no, Sam. no, no. Oh, you do the honors. I insist, come on. <laughs> okay. Alley -oop. All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So, big skull-shaped island, what? Big island. No skull. That's gotta be it. The battalion. <laughs> That's optimistic, considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Is that our boy Rafe? Who the hell else?
Parvis Magna, Sam. Come on. Where are you? Crap. your back, Sam. Holy shit. I nearly shot your head off. Sam, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. Good to see you alive, little brother. Come on. We got a treasure to find. Hold up, man. I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the battalion. Have you even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony? Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, wait, wait. I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? About what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. What? Holy crap. Crap. <laughs> you still want to go home? Let's just see what else we can find. You're going to want to see this. Commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? Really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his. Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the ride. You know, I always knew you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, you should just enjoy the moment. So where you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean... I'm... 
Thinking some cutlass is here. A vest, you dirty dog. <laughs> nice. I was doing the. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I was doing the thing. Right. Right. You're a horrible pirate. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> what were they doing here? Oh, the colonists? Yeah. I mean, you throw your lot in with these infamous outlaws, <laughs> then what? You know, take a load off, yeah. find some refuge. <laughs> Enjoy a little grog. <laughs> it's far worse fates. Yeah, I guess. Except you have to see Avery's statue every day. <laughs> hey, you, uh... You ever wonder, like, with different choices... ...how we might have ended up? I mean, like, you taking your magic show on the road? <laughs> no, that was a... that was an option. I was good. It's not a viable option. What, you know what? You're just jealous. Uh, you always were. <laughs> no, but I mean, what would our lives have been like if we hadn't started by chasing these people who've been dead for hundreds of years? You think it would resemble more of a normal life? Mm, normal. You've got. Everybody gathered around the table for Thanksgiving, exchanging all the baby photos, something like that. No, no, thank you. Not for me. I like the hand we've been dealt. Yeah, I've heard that before. Come on, we're, we're fortunate, man. <laughs> this is fortunate. Yeah. I mean, of course, I've been locked up for the last 15 years, so it's all relative, I suppose. <laughs> all right, well, I'll give you that. This is much better than prison. <laughs> well, my mug's run dry. Yeah, I was about to say, service here is lousy. Empty. Of course it is. You think Rafe? No. Nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years. Right. Well, search for clues? Yeah, search for clues. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, and inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look. There's Avery. Two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer. Not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. 
What? Where? Oh, that's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. Right, so follow it to the other side of the island and look. Right there. New Devon. Wait, Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Oh, quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Well, what do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. So, how long you figure it'll take us to get to New Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Okay, Mango. Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Wait, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. Mm. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this island. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. I know you don't. Get fucked. We just talk about this. I don't think so. Who is this? What's this? Nadine! You're fast. But you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. Oh, so be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. No. Yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no. No. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, you know, all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, Rafe, you don't, don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. Budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Damn, this is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> One, always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, you ready? <clears throat> Oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. Now smile, all right? You got something? <gasps> this is it. Which is a paradise? Whoa. Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Oh. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey. You keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait. For the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hmm. 
and at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, it is. you're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness it... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sic Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. Hmm. All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Stan? Ma'am? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Now, come on! 
Alright, hold on tight. I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Man, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. We can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, and mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, after I thought I lost him. I, you didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? 
Rafe's got them. Oh, shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the death, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the north. <laughs> to uh... oh never mind oh, okay right. hey watch out stay down use the car as cover hey give me a hand with this There's nothing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> so. so what made you change your mind? Huh? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. Here. <sighs> Give me a hand with this. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out like that. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... I... I yeah. You know, it, we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Tight.
Brace yourself. Uh, Nate? Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks. On it! Go! Go! I got it! Come on! Stay! Uh, waterfall! Waterfall! Come on! Over here, quick! Gotcha! Uh, 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 Whew! Huh? So much for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was, uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and some water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. Oh. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no, shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. I <laughs> just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Again, tired, bruised, oh, hungry. I could eat. Uh, other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew, okay, come on. Let's keep going. Let's move this out of the way. Yep. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his man. Good lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. 
Looks like we're a little late. Hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Oh, shit! Shoreline! See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? It's a letter signed by Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage.
Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. Hit hey, watch your head. Yeah. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. You have a funny idea of romantic. <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, this looks promising. Boost you up? Yeah. Come on. your head. Yeah. Jim hits. Wait, is that? You okay? I think so. What was that? Trap. Avery really didn't want any trespassers down here. All right, watch your step. Me. You're the one that stepped on it. Fine. <laughs> Keyhole? Key. Wait. It could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. We didn't get blown to bits. Oh, shit. You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. Just like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey. Hey. Lena, come on. Lena. Uh, my hero. Oh, no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no. That's not funny. Oh, oh you have done much worse. Yeah. God, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Let me listen. Sounds well, I, good to me. Uh, you realize we're now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. 
No, not by a long shot. <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah, yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before. Good talk. That's gotta be Sam. Come on. At least the gunfire. Please. Get the sea, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well. A little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Uh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions. We thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you saved his ass again? Naturally. How are you doing? Good. Good. There was some close calls, but um, he covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside grazed my face. <laughs> so how'd you lose Rafe? <sighs> he had led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Yeah. Which way? On the beach, of the side of this town. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's got to go all the way around, but we can hey, just... Hey, screw just... Rafe. Hey. Victor, with all due respect, maybe just you just his... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I I, I do. But we're good. A and we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell-bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. Because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long have we been chasing this thing, huh? You and me. No offense to these guys. But they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. Really do. Okay. Uh, trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam. We're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? this way. Is it far? Not very. Just through this port.
Okay, Victor, can I borrow you for a sec? Sure. All right, go ahead, Nathan. There, we'll hold it down. You jump across. You're not gonna drop me, are you? Tempting, yeah. but no. <clears throat> Made it! Here we come. Okay, we're ready. Well, this is some impressive engineering for a bunch of pirates. This is nothing. You should have seen the elevator. Whoa! Hang on! You guys all right? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Come on up, Nathan. All right, Nathan, you climb on up. I'll grab you. Go! Jump off, quick! Nate! Okay. Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Right. Come on, just jump, I'll catch you. Let's go! No, no, don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Sam! Oh, stupid, stupid. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Uh. He's got it. Uh. Oh. All right. Uh, see? Oh. This isn't gonna hold. Dang, go. No. I got it. Come on. God damn it. Now how the hell are we supposed to get up there? We don't have enough time. Nate? No? Not by yourself? Look, I'll come right back, okay? Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight. Yeah, well, then I'll fight him if I have to, but either way, I'm bringing him back. Just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can, and be ready for a quick getaway. Like there's another kind? It's not fair. Huh? Doing the dishes? We take turns? Don't even think about not coming back. I love you. Same to you, cowboy. Are we almost done here? This is the last of them, ma'am. Good. If we are here, we can catch up with the others. <laughs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for Avery's ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, it's for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned you. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. 
Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've done. Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now, come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl. By all means. <laughs> Hey, Nate. Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Well, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Rafe, you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <laughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer, and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are our partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with his treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. Well, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins, knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking air. Hey, just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? 
Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhala. That's Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali desert. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fabled El Dorado. Come on, Rafe. Stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. <laughs> Sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much, I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. You know how to sword fight? Yeah. Sticky with the sharp end, right? Oh, this should be fun. prolonging the inevitable. My arm's getting tired. Now we're getting somewhere. What the hell's wrong with you? I hear so much about. All right, all right. We're done here. I'm taking my brother and we're leaving. You want to stay in burn with the ship, you be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence. For shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Don't want to give up! That's good! Don't hand it to me. I've had everything handed to me. 
on a goddamn silver platter. <laughs> I earned this. All of it. You want the treasure, Rafe? It's all yours. <laughs> to do it was find this treasure with you hey, sure. we did it we did it brother okay it's all right there's gonna be another way nathan you gotta go there's gonna be some gotta go this tough there is no other way come on nathan i gotta know you made it out all right no. nathan the whole place is about to blow up that's it that's it the hell you don't Trust me. God damn it. Let's get your head down. here. Got everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sully. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic vase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. 
<laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh -huh. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. With the handshake? Well, bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you got a few ancient cities on me, and I can't let that slide, so. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam. Come far. We sure have a little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemus. <laughs> What's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Yeah. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow. That, well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a mutually beneficial agreement. Well, that's, that's great. Are, are you going to stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay, perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. 
You, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Huh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right oh, up no, our alley. No. Honey, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky <laughs> one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here. Along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are gonna operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So, what do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diving. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used could. to be. You're really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not. Afraid on a to scale play of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah, well, jack that up to like eleven, all oh, right? Because uh, I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Oh shit. Crap. <laughs> hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um,. Uh, What's up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. Hey, 
okay. I said don't be mad. Keys. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. Yeah. Huh. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. You no, know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really. Me? It's time to have a talk. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um... For me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. Yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's pretty much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. <laughs> you know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, well, I'll get back to that later. But see, the map led us to the middle.